This video is going to be um, how to score and uh, prepare a body for a uh, RC car, or this one's going to be a short course truck. So um, I've done this twice before, so I'm hoping that um, this will come off uh, reasonably okay and um, touch wood. I hope I don't cut myself with this thing because I've cut myself before with it and uh, it's going to be uh, very sharp. So um, the whole idea of uh, cutting out a body is that you can use scissors or you can use a method where you basically run a blade all around it and then you can just sort of kind of tear it off and the tearing follows the score from the blade. So. We'll go through this together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and um, give you like an over-the-shoulder type uh, view so you can see me working on it. All right, so what we've got here is the body and uh, you can see the lines that we're going to work on to cut around. And so basically we're going just to work on using the hobby tool and just go nice and steady around the edge. So I'll just sort of bring it in a little bit. So I've already started this line. And so it's really important just to do one continuous line. Just every time you sort of go off, it creates a problem when you want to um, when you tear it all off because the tear will follow the line. Here we go around an edge and I'm just being very cautious not to do that or that. So what I've just done is created two score marks going off the, the line. Alright, so Super cautious, and here comes another hard part. He is trying to sort of go around a corner. Um, so, on this point, I'm going to have to sort of follow. Whichever way is easiest for me to to score it. Right. So now I have to sort of come around this edge. score this way. So now we've got a pretty much a straight line to score it against. So your straight lines are kind of your easier ones. So let's bring it down a little bit. 
time. It's just a matter of going slowly. Try not to go too fast. And join the score up. And then we've got another little bend in here. And there I just poke my finger with it. Lucky I didn't cut myself. So I'm just going to gently score. edges nice and slowly you gotta go really slow with this stuff and so when you come to the corner just a little bit a little bit a little bit Just trying to go nice and slow and follow the line, which is a bit hard to see. Now you don't have to put too much pressure on this. just need to sort of, there I go, I just went way offline, but luckily it was, and again, so just got to go nice and slow, it's going a bit too quick. Just make sure you're following the line. Just nice, slow. Just following the line nice and gently. That's it. And after you sort of start doing it for a little while, you start to get the hang of it. I feel that the line along here is a bit crap. It's kind of lost it a little bit. There we go. Right, so here again, we're just going to very gently follow. The line in the molding. So I'm kind of using my fingers over here, like these two fingers, just to put pressure on the body, just to help sort of stabilize. Here I'm coming up to a section which is a bit harder. Almost there. Okay, just give me a second, I just want to get this straight line sorted. Got to be really gentle on the curves. Right. So here we 
the hour of that to sort of join it up. Oh. All right, so that there, we've now scored all the way around the body, so now we're actually right to peel it off. But before we do that, I need to sort of do a few more cutouts. Here, 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 um, and here. And so what, what we do is we cut out the back of the body so when the car flies over the jump, the air doesn't get trapped inside and cause what's called a parachute effect. It allows the, the car itself to flow through the air much smoothly. Uh, I find these ones to be sort of quite difficult to cut out and these are not my favorite ones. So I'm just going to try and do my best to cut it out. So I'm thinking about using a uh, drill bit to try and drill the edges. There's something called a body reamer, which is meant to be the preferred thing to, to do holes in plastic bodies. All right, so there's one done. All right, so now the moment of truth. What happens when I start to pull it? So I think from memory, there we go. So what I do is I put one thumb on one area and I put another finger on the other area. So one pushes and one pulls back. So I just push and pull, push and pull. And just be nice and gentle. we go around the corners so just so I'm pushing and up and I pull with this one so just a gentle just really sort of gentle just a little bit of time as, especially as you're going around the edges but this does come off so the thicker the plastic the sort of more pressure you need the thinner the plastic I wonder if you see better. There we go. We'll just pull this off. So along the straight edges, generally, it's pretty sort of easy. an area where I made a couple of scores and um, so what's happening here is is I made a couple of little mistakes and I've and I had to sort of join up the scores and here the plastic is starting to tear into the body um, so you can just see a little mark just there so what I would do here is to make sure it goes the right direction. I'll just give it a little cut. And maybe one more little cut in the direction of the line. Right. 
And so that there was just to sort of make sure that it follows the score mark. And because I made a little mistake in the score mark, it tried to sort of go a different direction. So that's why you need one continuous line. And if you have breaks in the line, you need to stop and be very careful at that point that you don't rip the plastic in the wrong direction. All right, so now we're back in business. We just keep pushing and pulling. Just opposite directions, just a little bit of a time. So this is where we come to a little bit of a thin area. We just want to be careful. So here's a, a very common area that your score line might have issues. And so my score line along here isn't too bad. But you've got the mixture of sort of thick and thin plastic. So you just got to be sort of really around here. I feel it's quite stiff, almost to the point of me. Getting rid of that body and coming back to this point and just sort of start it here. Feels a little bit uncoordinated now. So now I'm, I'm pushing this and sort of holding steady here. Just being very careful. And so I can put my finger here and just to gently use gentle pressure. And now we come up against another part in the score marks where I made a mistake. So here I just want to be sort of careful or just use the scissors. Yep, so it's following, it's following this score mark. So now I'm going to use the scissors to try and cut it up. So that now should follow the score mark. There we go. So now we're coming up to sort of like the difficult part. There you go. So now that's just followed a different line altogether. So I'm going to cut this part out. See that that's torn down, but you know that's okay because that's just torn into scrap plastic. If it was tearing into the body, that's where you've got to be real careful. So I've kind of just cut the scrap off, and now I'm going to put a little cut up here just to start that. Just to start it following that score line. So now I've got a little bit of movement. I'll try and put my finger there. And we're going to try and follow the score mark again. Uh, where are we? So I'll just keep moving down. So the straight lines are kind of easier. So I'm just using gentle pressure. Well, as gentle as I can. I find it hard to hold it. So, there we go. 
so you can see the the detail of it so basically the smoother you round your edges the better like sorry the smoother you round your score mark the smoother the the cutout will be so for example on this one where are we get your focus So you can see that this round this is quite smooth. Come back to these edges. So you can see that you know here is a spot where I uh, the score mark was not continuous. So you can see the roughness, which you can trim with scissors. But as you go along the edge of it, Get your focus. There we go. So as you go in the edge, like here again, the score mark's not that good. But it's not that bad. So the front. know what to zoom in on so you can kind of see that around the edge it's quite good so I'm pretty happy with the scoring of that and now the next part which is far harder is trying to pull these things out which is going to be sort of pretty crappy to do and it's the part that I really don't like doing so I might go get a drill and start drilling them out and see how I go all right so I've uh, finished doing a lot of the drilling for the little bits and pieces so now I'm going to try and pull them out so I'm going to go get a pair of pliers and uh, see if it can help me to start pulling out the little cutouts where the score is. So this is the first time I've tried drilling the holes. And I think drilling the holes will give like a nice rounded edge on some of the corners. So if you mess up one of the corners, you know, you could drill a hole and then you'll get a nice round shape. Or the, I think you meant to use like a scoring tool or something. So uh, let's go get a pair of pliers and we'll try pulling out the little cutouts and see how it goes. All right. Let's see how we go. <clears throat> go to try and start one of these things. So um, I might use the scissors and just yeah. and just try and begin one. close to the score mark so now I'm going to try and do the push and pull which is very difficult let's try that there we go so we've got it started so once you get it started it makes it easy because it gives you something to sort of hold on to of getting it started in, in these larger ones and so she's a little bit rough around the edge so what we might try and do is see if we can see if we can just clean it up a little bit oh, this is hard I think what we'll do is we'll just use the scissors to sort of try it up. I'll just 
Okay. Und hier. And that's kind of not too bad, I guess. So now we're going to try again. So now I, I see with the drill holes, you've got to sort of be a little bit more closer to scoring it. It's quite hard. But 